Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today we'll be discussing a very interesting case study about the entrepreneurial mindset. And some of the key learnings in this case is how to uh, leverage your hobby and passion and your innate skills and how to work with less and how to leverage your surprises. So this is a very, uh, it's a very interesting and real life case study which talks about a lady called Roxanne Quimby living in the United States of America. Uh, the case starts like in some, somewhere in the 70s. Uh, she was born in the late 60s. Roxanne's father uh, was a Harvard Business School graduate and uh, he was doing a good job. And he, Roxanne had two sisters. Uh, the other two sisters, uh, they, they loved uh, business administration courses and they were, they were uh, obsessed with that and they wanted to go into that. Uh, Roxanne uh, turned out to be a very different lady and she was called as the black sheep of the family. She was altogether different in her pursuits, in her likings and dislikings and eventually as she grew up she developed a different taste. She started living nature, she started living you see, agriculture, nature, animals. Uh, while they were very young, the father used to make them work on entrepreneurial projects. And when the girls used to ask their dad for pocket money, the father used to say, hey girls, make some money, make two dollars, I'll give you two dollars. The matching money concept. So these young girls, they started doing small things, small chores, making some handicrafts and doing small basic things and in a way sometimes working on their father's entrepreneurial projects, making some pocket money. And by the time Roxanne graduated from her high school, she had $5,000. She went to San Francisco School of Arts and as she moved there, she further fell in love with nature. And eventually, uh, that was a very interesting days. Uh, she dropped out of life. She turned into a hippie and she also fell in love with one of our class fellows. And as they decided to marry, and when the father came to know about this, the father disowned her. Roxanne Quimby decided to pursue her own life. So she and her husband, they went to the East Coast and they went to a place called Maine. They had their own hut. They started living there. They used to live a life of, you see, nomads and to make some money on the weekends. And in a couple of years, they were bestowed with some twins. As a mother, she felt more responsibility and she convinced her husband to go out and work and make some money. But the husband was not that kind of person. So as time passed on, uh, uh, the arguments uh, between the husband and wife arose and eventually they ended up in divorce and separation. So Roxanne Kumbi, uh, she took her two kids and she put them on her on, on the snow van. She put her luggage and she pulled that snow van and brought it and brought them down to the other side of the forest. She arranged a small tent and she uh, started living there. She had the basic utensils. She was able to she was able to make a stove, got some wood from the jungle, and started cooking. And this is how her new life begins. There's no water, no electricity, no gas, and no telephone, and things take a new turn for Roxanne. Roxanne used to go to the nearby town for a weekend grocery and shopping, and used to go there and come back. And this is how life was passing on and working. She started doing some small chores, small work and tasks. And one day she figured out that she can make handicrafts. And that feeling made her feel strong uh, as she remembered her childhood. And she started doing small things. And even she did some waitressing jobs and which fetched them her dollars. And she started living in that life. Roxanne Kumbi used to go to the jungle to get the woods. She used to get some fruits from, from the trees and apples and some berries. And this is the way the family was living. One day as Roxanne Kumbi went into the jungle, 
she saw a very interesting phenomena taking place and what she saw was So what Roxanne Gumbi saw was uh, a very interesting phenomenon. Right in the middle of the jungle, she saw a person with a beard which was never trimmed. And there was a small hut, some 30 beehives there, and an old truck, and a heap of bags lying there. As she went into conversation with this, with this gentleman, she said, who are you, sir? 